I guess. Time for our read aloud of the day. Um, if you remember the last chapter, Malu, Maria, Maria Luisa, was, she started band practice and she found out how cool Mrs. Hidalgo was, or is. Um, even going so far as to say, well, your mom's cool, cooler than mine. Um, they're gonna fight, her and her mom are gonna fight some more. I have a feeling, I'm making a prediction. Uh, so chapter 19, is that what you're wearing? Mom was like a scratched record with that question. She eyed the blue and green plaid Catholic school jumper I wore. I'd found it in one of my thrift store adventures with Dad. Today I'd paired it with white spins and needles records shirt, t-shirt, blue striped tube socks, and my sequin chucks. It was my punk Dorothy look. You're going to need something comfortable, something you can move in. You mean like this, I asked. I jumped up and down and jogged in place, lifting my knees as high as I could. Mom sighed. <sighs> Don't you think it's time you started acting and dressing like Luna Senorita? I'm wearing a dress, I said, and gave her a curtsy. That's Senorita-like. Her look told me my outfit was not what she had in mind. Even though Mom said it was very rude, I put my headphones on for the train ride. She could drag me to this thing, but I didn't have to talk to her. The dance school was in a huge warehouse-type building that also housed other businesses. The door had the words Ramirez Dance Studio stenciled in big gold letters. Below it, in smaller letters, it read, Teaching Mexican Folkloric Dance Since 1998. Mom opened the door and we were greeted by the sound of heels banging against the wooden floor. Selena and a boy a little older than us stopped dancing. They were the only other people besides Selena's mom. Senora Ramirez smiled big when she saw us. She turned off the music that was still playing and walked over. Magali y Maria, Magali y Maria, Lu, Maria Luisa, sorry, Magali y Maria Luisa. She gave us both a hug. I'm so glad you came. This is my son, Gail, and you know Selena. The two walked over, clopping the whole way like a couple of horses. Selena, get Maria Luisa a pair of shoes, Senora Ramirez said. This is going to be fun. For who? Maria, thought, Maria Luisa thought. See, si, Mommy, Selena said. Come on, Maria Luisa. Shoes, I asked, looking at Mom. Those won't do at all, Senora Ramirez said, pointing to my sneakers. You need something with a hard heel to make some noise. She stomped her own shiny black shoes against the floor, and Mom gave a startled laugh. I don't think we're going to have anything to match that outfit, Selena said as we walked to a wall of cubbies full of shoes that reminded me of a bowling alley. What size? Very funny, I said. The cubbies were filled with the kinds of shoes I would never voluntarily wear. They had buckles and heels and wouldn't go well with cutoffs. Selena handed me a pair of scuffed brown shoes in my size and walked back to where our moms waited. I changed into the shoes and clip-clopped to a case full of ribbons, sashes, certificates, trophies, and plaques. Some of them were awarded to Ramirez Dance Studio, but ma many were in Selena or Gail's name. I'm not sure if I'm saying that name properly. It's G-A-E-L. Gail? Gail? Hmm. There were also photos of Ramirez dancers, most of them featuring Selena and her mom. Wow, Mom said. She's really good, huh? Senora Ramirez beamed and nodded. She and her brother have been dancing since they were little, she said. Gail, come here. Why don't you two show them your dance for the Mexican Independence Day Parade? We have a float that features our dancers every year. Selena rolled her eyes. She looked annoyed as she joined, as she joined, turned to join her brother. But by the time she got into formation, she replaced her annoyed look with a big smile, her eyes crinkling at the corners. When the music started, it sounded like tiny bells and jumping string instruments. I watched as Selena and her brother stomped back and forth and side to side. Selena lifted and bowed and waved her skirt so fast it was dizzying. All the while, she kept a smile on her face. Joe was right about the cucaracha killing. No bug that had the misfortune of finding itself under their shoes was coming out alive. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see Mom sway in place, smiling like she wanted to jump in and dance too. Maybe she was thinking about what it would be like to have a daughter like Selena. Ironic, since she was thinking about what it would be like to have a mom like Joe's mom. When the music stopped and the dance ended, Mom burst into applause. She nudged me with her elbow, and I clapped my hands a few times. Amazing, Mom said. That was beautiful. If the look on her face was an emoji, it would be the smiley face with hearts for eyes. Selena and her brother said thank you at the same time. Gail changed into his sneakers, said goodbye, and made a quick exit. The lucky dog. Well, let's show you some basic steps. See? Senora Ramirez said. Selena, work with La Senora Morales, and I'll see if I can help Maria Luisa find a little rhythm. Selena cackled like the Wicked Witch of the West. Good luck with that, Mammy, she said, leading Mom by the arm. 
A good teacher is encouraging, Selena, her mom said, taking my hand. She stomped out a beat, and I tried to follow, but my feet felt like they were weighed down by the big Frankenstein shoes. Just loosen up, Senora Ramirez advised, shimmying and waving her arms around like she was blowing in the wind. Look, your mama's got it. I looked over at Mom, who was laughing as she sashayed and stomped like it was the happiest day of her life. Meanwhile, I felt like the tin man who'd been left out in the rain to rust in need of some serious oil for his joints. I tried to remember the feeling I had at punk shows when the music just took over, and I felt free to move without being judged. This wasn't a punk show, though, and I felt ridiculous. So for the next hour, I did what Dad had advised, and I just tried. But when Senora Ramirez went left, I went right. It seemed that no matter how much I tried to keep up with her, I couldn't. How did Selena do this? That was one of the most fun things I've ever done, Mom said when dance class was over. Her face was flushed, and strands of her hair had come loose from her bun. You did great, Senora Ramirez said. You too, Maria Luisa. She patted me on the shoulder in a consoling manner. Yeah, right, I mumbled. Our next session starts in two weeks if you'd like to sign up, Senora Ramirez said. Oh, I do, Mom said with a nod. I gave her a look of terror. Let me get you a brochure so you can see what we offer, Senora Ramirez said. You can sign up online or just do it when you come in for the first class. She walked toward the office, Selena following close behind. Mom, I'm not doing a whole session, I whispered urgently. Don't worry, Mom said. I'm not going to force you to do it. I'm glad you at least tried. Good, I said, feeling like I was finally able to breathe. I'm going to get my shoes. I couldn't wait to get out of there and meet the band for practice. I walked back to the cubbies and sat down on a chair next to the office to put my sneakers back on as quickly as possible. If I didn't hurry, Mom might change her mind about signing me up for classes. From where I sat, I could hear Selena and her mom talk inside the office. What is this? Is it like the river dance, Senora Ramirez asked? It's Irish dancing, Mom, Selena said. But you're not Irish. Why do you want to do Irish dancing? It looks kind of cool, Selena said. It's kind of like, like Irish hupanago. Huapango. Senora Ramirez laughed. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. You don't have time for that, Selena. I promise I won't get in the way of my dancing here, Selena pleaded. I've already said no, Senora Ramirez said, sounding agitated. Besides, you know this time of year is busy with Independence Day, El Dia de las Muertos, Las Posadas. We have too many obligations already. But mommy... No, now come on, Senora Ramirez said, cutting her off. They're waiting for us. Yes, mommy, Selena said. I leaned low over my knee, pretending not to notice as they came out of the office. Selena balled up a piece of paper and threw it in the trash on the way to meet mom. When Senora Ramirez started going over the brochure with mom, I stuck my hand in the trash can and pulled out the paper Selena had thrown away. Once I smoothed it out, I could see it was a flyer for an Irish dance class at the neighborhood rec center. I quickly stuffed the paper into my pocket before joining mom, who was at the door saying goodbye to Senora Ramirez. Are you sure that's your mom? Selena asked, checking that, checking that the moms were out of earshot. She could move, but you look like a rag doll, she let out her wicked witch cackle. I had actually started to feel a little bad for Selena after hearing Senora Ramirez shoot her down about the Irish dance lessons, but she made it really hard to sympathize with her. You're right, I said. I could use a little spring in my step. Maybe a little Irish spring. <laughs> Selena looked at me like she was trying to see inside my head. Let's go, Mom called from the doorway. See you at school, I said, and gave Selena a smirk. At first, I felt pretty good about not letting Selena get the best of me, even though my Irish spring joke was kind of corny. Irish spring is also a soap brand. But then I started to think about how her mom not letting her dance wasn't so different from my sneaking around to be with the band, afraid mom wouldn't let me do it if she knew. I understood wanting something badly and feeling disappointed, even if I didn't get why she would want to go from one stomping dance to another. It was kind of like how in The Outsiders, Pony Boy and Cherry Valance are from completely different worlds, but they understand each other, at least in some ways. I tried to convince myself that punks don't feel guilty about giving mean people a taste of their own medicine, but by the time we got home, I felt even crummier about my joke. They're not so different after all, are they? Interesting. Um, please see what you need to respond to for the prompt, guys.